Um, I'm Letmo Nyagura. Right. Uh, here we are representing a company called Valley Visions. It's a subsidiary of uh, the holding company called uh, George Moss. It's um, a, a Zimbabwean-owned uh, company, um, and most importantly, it's um, based in, ba in Matibeleland region. Uh, our head office is in Bulawayo, number 68, Josiah, Josiah Tongoka, right? So we are um, a fresh produce concern. We produce uh, horticultural products. We also produce grain. But our, I think our focus here and our main aim here is for horticulture. It's the reason why we are here. Um, we also do meat production. Uh, we are um, feeding our own, uh, pen feeding our own, our own, our own cattle, which we are slaughtering for various uh, meat markets, right? So our objectives is, is Valley Visions. We basically um, working within uh, the mantra that we need to develop and grow our nation. We also need to, you know, to develop our our region as well, because there's been traditionally a perception that Blaue is a dry region or uh, southern region is a dry region where people don't produce but we want to demystify that meal hence we are producing most of the horticulture products here we've got cabbages we've got cauliflower we've got broccoli we've got tomatoes we're producing onions we're also producing our potatoes we've got watermelons we've got butternut we've got pumpkin just to name a few but we are producing that within the um, uh, the, the, the Matibeleland region mostly in Blaue, like 20 k's out of, out of Blaue. Yamandlovu and Mguza, just to mention um, a few a few places. So our objective is to feed the nation. That's what we that's what we want, and we are driven by that thought. Just to feed the nation, we want to do it from the southern region. Why we're doing that is we believe that when produce is being brought from Ashona land, or where we are having to import, especially vegetables, variety of vegetables from South Africa, price is going to be you know um, heavy for most consumers. Was, as you know, vegetables are consumed mostly by low to middle income people, you know. So we are doing it for them, we are producing it for them, just to feed them, to feed our region, uh, to feed our nation at large. Our markets, we are, when we say southern region, we are from Vic Falls, Wange, Lopane, uh, we are in Gwai, we are, we are distributing into Gwai, we are distributing into... Uh, Gweru, Kwekwe, we are also distributing into Sishawane, uh, Mashingo, Chiredzi, Triangle, we come to Bedbridge, Gwanda, Plum Tree, uh, we are also distributing, we've got people, runners that are coming in from Cholocho, uh, we are taking our, our product, but right now it's only locally being consumed. Export, we will consider, but for now we are producing for, for Zimbabwe, for the region, yeah. yeah. People come here, they should expect to see freshness. And they should expect to be amazed by you know the size and the quality of the product that is being produced uh, within Blawayo or within Matabelele. Like I said, there's been a, a myth, which is a misinformation, that okay there are no farmers uh, within the region, you know. So when they come here, they should expect um, freshness. They should expect um, good quality product. They should expect to see people, okay, uh, Zimbabweans who are trying, especially from Matibelele region, who are trying to to make it happen within Zimbabwe, we are trying to feed the nation from from, from Matibele land. They should expect to see uh, friendly personnel uh, from Valley Visions. They should expect to hear more about our, um, you know, our meat production, our beef production. Uh, we want to amaze them, to tell them that we are slaughtering uh, in excess of 100, 150 uh, cows per week, which we are distributing. And some of them will be surprised that the meat they are buying from Chopis, the meat they are buying from Pick and Pay, the meat they are buying from uh, OKs is coming from Valley Visions and it's being produced from, uh, from Blawai. And when it's coming from different parts of, of, of Matibele land. Some cows are coming from Lupane, some are coming from Gwanda, Jishavane, Plum Tree, and places like that. But when you see it in Pick and Pay, some people believe that it's not local, but it's very much local. And that's why we are here to preach that gospel that Blawa is alive, um, Matibele land is alive, and we are feeding the nation from here.